Hubble sees Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star, slowly recovering after blowing its top. Has Betelgeuse already exploded? If you recall, Betelgeuse's great dimming that occurred in late 2019 and early 2020, you'll be aware that the status of the well-known red supergiant star has recently been a hot topic in astronomy. The unexpected dimming of this object was most likely brought on by blowing its top in 2019, during which it lost a significant portion of its surface, according to new data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. There has never before been a surface mass ejection SME from Betelgeuse, as it is known to scientists. Hi guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today we'll be taking a look at how this red supergiant recovered after a horrifying explosion. Make sure to stick till the end of this video, as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. And let's get started. One of the most visible stars in the night sky is Betelgeuse. But it didn't always have the same colour. Betelgeuse was discovered by an interdisciplinary team headed by an astrophysicist from Jenner to have had an orange-yellow hue to viewers on Earth about 2000 years ago. As the nuclear fusion inside a star's core develops, the star's brightness, size and colour changes. Measuring the duration of this colour transition helps researchers to establish the age and mass of a star, which in turn reveals information about its inevitable supernova. The giant red star known as Betelgeuse is located in the top left corner of the constellation of Orion, 642.5 light years from Earth. Researchers have established that Betelgeuse was a brilliant yellow star 2000 years ago, based on a variety of historical sources, Sima Qian, a court astronomer in ancient China, noted that white stars are like Sirius, red stars are like Antares, yellow stars are like Betelgeuse, and blue stars are like Bellatrix. A century later, the Roman scholar Higinus noted that the star in Orion's right shoulder resembles Saturn in hue, being yellow. Betelgeuse doesn't appear to belong to the group of bright red stars that also includes Antares and Aldebaran, according to additional evidence from ancient writers like Ptolemy. According to the lead author, Professor Ralph Neuhauser of the University of Jena, from these parameters one can assume that Betelgeuse at that time was in colour between the blue-white Sirius and Bellatrix and the red Antares. A star's colour is an undeniable indicator of its evolutionary stage. The luminaries expand and release gases into space as their cores burn hydrogen thermonuclear fuel. Their colour changes from yellow-orange to red as a result of this expansion, which also causes a drop in surface temperature. According to astronomical standards, this hue change took place over a period of thousands of years, which is a brief period of time. Despite being far away, Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars seen from Earth. It is 14 times larger and 100,000 times brighter than our Sun, which explains why. According to Professor Ralph Neuhauser, the very fact that it changed in hue within two millennia from yellow-orange to red indicates us, coupled with theoretical calculations, that it has 14 times the mass of our Sun. Such brilliance has a cost. Because of Betelgeuse's immense energy, its fuel must be used up rapidly, which reduces its lifespan. Betelgeuse's latest colour change suggests that it has nearly used its hydrogen supplies and is currently using up its helium. When a star runs out of fuel, it will fall over under its own weight and then explode in a stunning supernova. Though it won't happen for another million years or more, the end is inevitable. Ralph Neuhauser explains that the star, which is 14 million years old and in the latter stages of growth, will eventually explode, as a supernova is roughly 1.5 million years. The Hubble Space Telescope observed 
the brilliant red supergiant star Betelgeuse in 2019, when it was virtually blowing its top. This was a first ever observation of a surface Mars ejection, SM. Our Sun occasionally ejects pieces of its fragile outer atmosphere, the corona, in a phenomenon known as a coronal mass ejection, CME. However, compared to a typical CME, the Betelgeuse SME discharged 400 billion times more mass. Betelgeuse's interior is currently experiencing a form of bouncing, according to Andrea Dupree of the Center of Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The massive star is still rebuilding its health following this catastrophic occurrence. The interior of Betelgeuse is currently bouncing, according to Dupree. Betelgeuse continues to do some quite weird things, he continued. In a statement, Dupree stated that Betelgeuse continues doing some very weird things. The atmosphere is kind of bouncing. These new findings shed light on how red stars lose mass, stay age, and eventually explode as supernovae when their nuclear fusion furnaces run out of fuel. The amount of mass loss has a significant influence on their fate. Dupree emphasizes how crucial the Hubble data were in aiding in the solving of the puzzle. We have never before witnessed a massive stellar surface mass ejection we are left with something occurring that we cannot fully comprehend. It's a brand new phenomenon that we can see up close and in great detail with Hubble, which provide real-time observations of the development of stars. The mass that Betelgeuse lost in 2019 was much greater than the mass of the Moon. The massive outburst in 2019 may have been caused by a convective plume, more than a million miles broad, that was bubbling up from the star's innards. By blasting the cooling parts of the photosphere off with shocks and pulsations, the star was left with a substantial cold surface region beneath the dust cloud it had produced. According to Dupree, Betelgeuse is presently having trouble recovering from this wound. A dust that covered the star from Earth-based observers was created when the photosphere which was roughly several times as heavy as our moon, broke apart and drifted off into space. The fading, which began in late 2019 and continued for a few months, was plainly discernible, even by backyard observers who observed the star's brightness change. On Orion's right shoulder, one of the brightest stars in the sky, Betelgeuse can be seen clearly. Even more astounding is the disappearance of the 400-day pulsation rate of the supergiant. With the aid of observations of Betelgeuse's surface motions and brightness variations, astronomers have been measuring this cycle for about 200 years. The blowout's ferocity is demonstrated by its interruption. Convection cells within the star, which are in change of the regular pulsing, may be sloshing around like an imbalanced washing machine tub, according to Dupree's theory. Even while the outer layers seem to be returning to normal, the surface is still bouncing like a bowl of gelatin pudding as the photosphere reconstructs itself, according to Trace and Hubble Spectra. Even while our Sun regularly encounters coronal mass ejections that blast off small fragments of its outer atmosphere, Astronomers have never witnessed such a large percentage of a star's visible surface get thrown into space. As a result, surface mass ejections and coronal mass ejections can happen independently of one another. Betelgeuse has gotten so big that its surface would extend into Jupiter's orbit if it were to replace the Sun as the main star of our solar system. Hubble was used by Dupree in 1996 to discern between several hot areas on the star's surface. It was the first direct imaging of a star other than the Sun. As the ejected material continues to move away from the star in infrared light, NASA's Webb Space Telescope might be able to see it. And that ends today's episode. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video 
If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comments space below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.